What's going on, guys? We're going to take a look at Upstart, uh, UPST. This stock, uh, one of the members in Discord kind of put me on it. I've traded it in the past when we were trading, you know, going back, you know, like this time, right? When Upstart was like $300, $400. Um, really haven't traded it much as of late. Uh, this thing moves, though. It moves up. It moves down. It's a perfect little trader. Uh, if you are a day trader, you are a scalper. It's got a good average true daily range. There's definitely money to be made in the stock if you're on the right side of the move. Uh, if you're not on the right side of the move, well, it, it'll also, you know, take your head off just with it. So one thing that I do want to kind of point out here, if I go back to the beginning of the year, right, when we washed out to $75, you know, we kind of came down here, got a little bit of a wick, we came up, we pushed off, pushed off, pushed off, pushed off. But we have tested this area two, three, and four times today. This is a big red engulfing candle here, kind of eating up one, two, three, four days, three days worth of price action here. Um, is this going to be a floor? I don't know. A lot of people on social media, when AMD had a chart like this, and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. AMD had a chart like this. Right. If we kind of look at AMD's chart, look at this chart here. We came down, touched it. 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 And I had made a video here. Uh, and, you know, someone in the comments was saying, you know, oh, AMD's coming back up or, or something like that. You know, it can't go any farther. Guys, never say that a stock cannot go any lower. AMD hit lows today of $94. So from that $100 area to 94 is a six point move in two days. Do not say that a stock cannot go lower. The point that I'm trying to make is that this chart looks very, 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 very identical to Upstart. So if we kind of take a look at Upstart, very, very identical looking chart, right? So there's one of two things that are going to happen. We're going to hold this $83 floor and we're going to bounce. Now there is about $150 worth of premium for this week's expirations that are taking us back to the middle of this channel at around $93. Right, so there's 93 calls. Now, whether those calls got smoked today on this $5 uh, decline, 6% decline here, whether they got smoked and those come off the books tomorrow will be a tell telling factor. Uh, here's what I do want to keep a note of. If we start to confirm today's lows, we've got room down. We've got a lot of room down to 75 bucks. Uh, definitely, you know, do, do not think that just because we're at a previous level of support that we're not going to lose it. If we do lose it, this is the next leg down, guys. Uh, if the overall market wants to continue to correct and continue to pull back, this is the next leg down. Potentially, we have a you know price target here of 60 bucks. I'm not saying all in one session, and I'm not saying that that's going to happen. What I'm saying is if we do lose today's lows, there's a possibility that we do see 70s and if we see 70s then 75 is going to be your your area where you're going to want to take profits especially if you want to day trade this you're going to want to get in through today's lows you're going to want to short this and then if we get back over 83 you're going to want to use that as your stop now if we gap down tomorrow we have a big gap down or right off the bell this immediately starts to go red and starts to pull below this. I would not chase that first move. I would let it put in a new low and see if we're going to bounce. If it puts in a new low and we bounce over $83, this is where I'm going to want to get long for a potential bounce going higher. Now, if we open flat or we open green tomorrow and we open green, what I'm going to look for is I do not want to chase this move up but I want to see where it gets rejected. Does it get rejected here at 90, 93? And if it does, when we roll back through the $83, whenever that is, this is a short position I want to take. Just keep in mind, we do have earnings coming up. If you're looking to hold this, earnings are on the 9th of next month. Hope that video helps. Uh, upstart, good little trader, especially for day traders. Uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below. If you guys want to understand my strategy and what I use, uh, and how I'm making money trading options, go to evolutiontraders.com, become a lifetime member. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because I put out a lot of content on here that is helpful and resourceful. And I will see you guys on the next one.